Hello everyone! So it's been a really hot minute since I filmed a video for YouTube so I do really uh, apologize basically for not filming on YouTube for so long. Um, I think my last video was kind of like the start of lockdown so I do apologize for my absence here on YouTube. Um, basically I've started going back to work and um, working a full-time job and I've been streaming on Twitch a lot lately. Um, basically juggling streaming and working it's kind of like a hard it's kind of hard to like juggle YouTube and all that as well um, also I've been struggling basically for inspiration to film um, so yeah I just haven't had anything to film really and um, I kind of lost inspiration for a little bit and I guess I mean I feel like a lot of people would understand like uh, it's hard to come up with ideas constantly of videos and stuff to film um, so Yes, um, I'm still live streaming on Twitch basically every weekend, so if you guys want to keep up with me and um, join some of my live streams where I game, um, then feel free to follow me on Twitch, the link will be down below. But also I want to cram out some YouTube videos as well, as often as I can for you guys. Um, so. Um, it's kind of my favorite season. So to, as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a autumn slash fall, um, uh, wherever you live, uh, homeware haul, basically. Um, as you guys that have watched me for a while would know, um, I am waiting basically to move into my own place. Um, it's a house we've basically inherited and um basically the whole coronavirus 2020 shit has put a massive hold on basically me moving in so we're still waiting for the house to be signed over and all this drama um so yes that is basically um yeah it kind of sucks it's been like god it's been like god months and months and months of me waiting <laughs> but um i've kind of decided now i need to start getting bits and bobs for the house so i'm gonna slowly but surely grow a little collection for my um home and like i said autumn is kind of my favorite time of year so i do want to get some like autumn winter style homeware bits for my house um i kind of have themes in mind and um yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm going to stop blabbering. I just kind of wanted to give you a bit of a catch up of what has been going on with me. Just basically working my ass off, streaming on Twitch um, and all that good stuff. So um, I do apologize for my absence. If you guys have any video ideas or requests, obviously let me know and I could potentially film those. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's been such a hot minute. <laughs> but um, I'm here. I'm hoping as well to maybe do like a lush Halloween kind of haul. It's my favorite time year I always feel super inspired in like autumn time so hopefully we will come up with some more ideas but I got a bunch of things to show you um, I did an online order with Asda home or Asda living um, they had so many cute autumn um, kind of bits for this season and I also did a little bit of shopping with my boyfriend at TK Maxx on the weekend um, we shopped around a few places but TK Maxx was the only place I kind of found Basically, I got one, well, two items, <laughs> but it, I'm pretty excited to show you that one as well. Um, so, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I did want to look at some Halloween decor as well because I really love Halloween-y ornaments just for all year round. But, like, TK Maxx had, like, a shit range this year, so I'm still on the lookout for those. So, if I do get any more homeware bits um, for this time of year or any time of year, I guess, I will be doing that. So, there will be, basically, when I'm moving in and getting furniture and stuff, there's going to be, like, like house tours coming there's gonna be um yeah loads more like furniture sorts of hauls homeware hauls so keep a look out for these if you like them it's kind of the first one i've ever really done on my channel so uh yeah also we will be sipping on an alpro um caramel latte it's delicious um right so i guess the first things i'll show you will be the asda stuff um there's kind of a theme to this <laughs> um first thing i'll show you is this bed set that i got and um this is fox bedding. Um, those of you that know me well know that I love foxes. I have, well you can't really see her, but I have a massive fox tattoo on my arm. I love and adore foxes and um, the kind of theme of my house is going to be kind of nature-y. Um, so far it's kind of, I'm on the kind of Tropicana um, plant sort of vibrant colours sort of theme and also I think I'm going to switch it up from summer to being really um yeah tropical to being really woodlandy 
I think that will kind of work and I think those two vibes will work really well together. Um, my mum for my birthday bought me this amazing fox lamp and it's so woodlandy, beautiful and everything. So yeah, my, my home is going to be a mixture of kind of tropical, woodland... That's, that's the vibe I go for. You guys know that I love and adore animals, so anything animally, like, I love. Um, so I got this fox bedding, and it's a really cute... The only thing I've just realised, because I've only just opened this stuff up, is that it's, uh, like, a brushed cotton. I'm not really a fan of the feeling of the cotton-based bed sheets. I heard they're good for winter for keeping you warm, but, uh... Yeah, although it says it's like recyclable, sourced, responsible cotton, so I mean, that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm not really a fan of the feel, uh, but I'm still going to use it. Um, it's so cute. I don't know if, I hope you guys can see right, like nicely. It's navy blue with beautiful foxes on it, and it's also reversible, and this is the underneath side, so you could obviously flip it either or way. Um, hopefully that will kind of show you up close what it looks like, but I think this is so cute um, I can't wait to put this on my bedding um, So I will be posting like pictures and stuff probably on Instagram when I put this on my bed uh, But I only changed my bed like the other day, so I don't need to change it at the moment But I'm super excited to put this on this is so nice. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this I think this was about 17 pounds. I think um, there's no price on here, but um, I will link everything um, I can't link the TK Maxx items because I got them in store and TK Maxx obviously is limited stock with everything but I will link the Asda Living stuff that I got down below so you guys have a link if you do like any of the stuff so this bedding I'm sure it was it was under 20 pounds anyway and it's super cute I love it I think I'm going to be using that a lot in like autumn or winter time um, I also, since we're on the whole bedding sort of thing, I got this beautiful throw. They had such nice throws. I'm even tempted to go and get another one because I couldn't decide between a couple of them. Um, but this one is this um, woodland creature kind of throw. This is the print of it. It looks so cute. I might actually open this up because I might put this straight on my bed um, after. Um, I don't know how big it is. Um, hopefully it's big enough to like wrap around me. Um, I want to keep it nice and folded for now, but this is what it looks like. It's so cute. So you've got like a little badger, um, is one a skunk? A little badger, skunk, a deer, an owl, a bear, and there's a fox on here too. So it's so cute. I love this. I thought this would also go like amazing with the fox bedding um, as well. Um, so I might get a couple of these because I feel like some of these would look really nice on my bed and I think obviously um, they'll look nice in my living room when that's all finished as well. So I might get another one. Super soft, really nice throw. Um, my fluffy pink one, which was kind of expensive, is going really kind of tatty now. So I do kind of need to get rid of that. So I think I might get a couple more of these because who doesn't have enough throws? I feel like especially when I'm going to be in my house, I'm going to want throws on the sofa, throws maybe in some wicker baskets for people to grab, throws on my bed. I got a spare bedroom as well. Um, my gaming room, I want throws. I just I need lots of throws. And I just thought this was so cute. And this was really inexpensive as well. I can't exactly, it doesn't have prices on anything. So like I said, I will link them down below. Um, but I'm sure this was pretty inexpensive. It was only like, I think it was maybe six pounds or so. Um, but I will link that down below as well. Uh, next things I got is I got two pillows because again I want pillows for um, my bed and I want pillows for living rooms so I'm in the market for lots of pillows <laughs> um, and I saw these again sort of woodland themed autumnal like pillows and they were super inexpensive um, again it doesn't have a price on them I'm really shit I should have like looked up the prices first <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll quickly do that now so you guys have like the prices. Oh, okay, so um, the bedding was £17, so I was right there. Um, the woodland throw was only £6, and the two pillows that I'm showing you now are £6. So super cheap and they are so nice um also it looks like you can take the pillow cases off to wash which is amazing also um so this is the first one it's this really really nice baby blue and um it's got these beautiful a uh, beautiful pattern lots of flowers it's got rabbits and birds on it um also some foxes 
I hope you guys can see the print really nicely, but this is so beautiful. Um, it's going to look gorgeous either again on a bed or on my sofa. I kind of want to try and get a sort of theme for my sofa, so maybe this will be more so for the bedroom. Um, but I absolutely love this. Super nice quality cushion. Six pounds bargain, and I think it's so cute. So I think for now, I might get rid of some of my pug pillows. Um, but I'm actually thinking I don't like to dispose of stuff, so I'll probably end up maybe taking the pillowcases off of them because they're Asda ones as well, washing them and storing them. And then I might try and see if I can just find somewhere with the right measurement pillowcases to put some new designs on these pillows because, um, yeah may as well like the pillows are still good so if we get some new cases for them that could look nice but yeah I think I'm gonna have this on my bed for now um it's so nice and I could do with some new bed cushions as well and the next one here this one is probably my favorite one it says wild and free and again that woodland autumny feel it's got some lovely little deers it's got an owl hedgehog um, squirrel and a fox or oh, and a bunny so all the little woodland creatures it's so nice feels such good quality it's this really nice gray color um, and then you've got obviously the autumn kind of leaves some acorns I just think this is like so cute for this time of year um, as to live in honestly pops for cheap homeware especially like seasonal homeware they have such nice stuff so that is this one I hope you can see it nicely and my camera's focusing but it is so cute. I love it. So again, this is going to be a really nice one to have either in living room or bedroom. But again, for now, I think I'll just have it here in my room until the day comes where I move in. <laughs> um, okay, next things are all packaged. So let me open these. But I did get some two ornaments, I think, and I got a candle. I must say, they wrap these things very well. <laughs> Okay, so first things is some ornaments that I've got. Um, this one was five pounds, and it's so cute. Um, sorry, emails coming in and stuff. Um, so it's this little fox. As you can see, the theme is very much foxy. Um, it's this really cute little fox with this little, it, obviously a fake plant. Um, as I said, I want lots of kind of uh, plants, uh, fake, and I might get some real ones as long as they're easy to take care of um, in the house. Um, I want it to be super naturey, so I want just plants everywhere. Um, so yeah, I thought this would look super cute on like a set of shelves or on my fireplace. I think it's so cute um, and I feel like some fake plants look really just crap but this one actually looks pretty cute um, I love it like it's so adorable I hope it's not focusing on my head and it's focusing on the fox but this is what it looks like it is so cute like I said I'm a sucker for anything foxy like anything with a fox I must have it it's adorable like want need <laughs> so uh, basically like my room, even just my bedroom now is going to be very autumnal and, and just cute. Let's have some coffee. And another thing that basically matches this is a, a fox. Oh my god, I'm dead. Their statues are so flipping cute. Um, I was hoping they were going to have more autumny statues because I would have gone crazy. Um, but they didn't have loads, so hopefully they'll have more throughout the season. Um, so this one was six pounds, like six pounds for an actual ceramic statue um that is hand painted as well it says on the sticker they are like absolutely gorgeous oh my god i got hair in my mouth <laughs> um but this is the fox look at his little booty in the air look at his booty so cute sorry i'm weird but this is the fox i just think this is so cute sorry about the noise too my guinea pigs are eating their lunch right now so you might hear some things in the background and some pugs snoring but it is so cute. I am obsessed. I love like, his little booty cheeks in the air. So cute. Um, but obsessed. Like they have really cheap ornaments and statues. And I'm all about that. Like I said, I want my home to be filled with shelves, with loads of ornaments and just pretty things. Crystals, ornaments, plants. Like that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So this is just too cute. And um, they came wrapped really well as well, I must say. So at least then you know there's no, not going to be any damage to your ornaments. Um, so next thing I got is a candle. Um, I was looking through, I'm using like a summery candle at the moment. So I wanted more of an autumn sort of scent. Um, they had quite a lot. 
um, there were some pumpkin ones and they had awful reviews saying that they didn't smell like anything so I got one of the ones that had a better review so this one is called Closey, uh, Closey, what? <laughs> Cozy Up and um, yeah it just looks like this just a little one of their Asda Home Yankee candles and um, I don't know what it smells like let's have a whiff oh that's really nice um, it's a very if you like like clean cotton by Yankee Candle it's a really fresh like fresh linen very clean scent really nice really sweet um I did kind of if I'm honest oops want kind of uh yeah like pumpkin spice sort of or spiced apple cinnamon sort of candle but they didn't have the best reviews so I'm gonna still keep a lookout for some uh other candles but this is really nice it smells super fresh and it's just gonna make my room smell like fresh linen and amazing um yeah really nice candle um let me check the price of this I cannot remember um I'm pretty sure the Asda Yankee Candles are like a lot cheaper than the American Yankee Candles. Um, this was 13, uh, $13.47, random price, um, for a large jar. Whereas like your normal, like authentic Yankee Candles, like it's still a Yankee Candle, you know? Um, but the actual American Yankee Candles are about like 20 quid up. Um, so that's a pretty good price for a really large candle that's gonna last me like months. Um, okay, and the last thing from Asda, sorry, this video might be a long one, but hopefully you guys don't mind since I haven't filmed for a while, is, like, I couldn't believe this. Hang on, let me get the price of this. So this was £18, and it's a three-pack of framed plants. So this is quite of the theme that I want all on my walls. I want lots of plants, nature sort of themed uh, paintings, pictures, as well as obviously like family photos and stuff like that. But for £18, right, you get three beautiful canvases um, already framed. So obviously I can't show you the middle one. Um, this is what it looks like on the sticker. So these are the three prints. I don't know if you guys can see if it's actually focusing, but these are the three prints. Um, and this is one of them in a black frame like I honestly couldn't believe 18 pounds for three and um, basically you just stack them on your wall in like a pattern let me see if I can get the picture on here oh it's like a little bit pixely but if you like stack it you can stack them in different ways on your wall um, and I just think this is gonna look really amazing against like my white walls that I have in the house um, this is the other one this is probably my favorite leaf out of all of them Sorry, it's all in packaging, so it's probably a bit shiny. But I thought these were amazing. £18 for three. This is going to be basically a great feature for a wall. And for only £18, that's incredible. I even went in the range and they didn't have anything kind of like this at this price. So I love that. Um, I'm going to keep a lookout on Asta for some more wall art. Because like I said, I want lots of wall art on my walls. Um, the whole basis I had mostly white walls in my house and then feature walls was just to have lots of artwork around mirrors art and stuff like that so I think this is gonna look amazing hung up um, I don't actually know if on the back like how you hang them if they've already got like built-in hangers or if it's something that you have to add yourself um, but we'll work that out when we get to it that's what boyfriends are for right <laughs> um, okay so that is all my stuff from Asta. So I was so happy. I spent basically under a hundred pounds on all of these goods and basically like, yeah, this nearly like brings a whole room to life. So I'm really happy with all the stuff that I got from Asda. And like I said, I will link these products down below for you guys because I got them online. Um, and the next place is TK Maxx. So I have my TK Maxx bag here. Um, it looks massive, but I didn't get much. Honestly, I think I got like two things. So, um, yes, I will show you. Yeah, basically the other stuff I got was a phone case that doesn't fit my phone, um, a beanie for my boyfriend, and I got dog poo bags, because we all need dog poo bags. <laughs> um, right, so first thing I'll show you um, is another candle another beautiful candle um so I love the Woodwick candles they are so nice but I never seem to find them anywhere so TK Maxx obviously has a nice range of candles and they had these crackle I love the crackly candles um and it has a really nice scent so this is $12.99 and 
This one smells so nice. I don't know what it says it's called. It's pomegranate. I don't know why though. I got this thinking it's like quite an autumny candle. Looks very autumnal. It's red. It's cute. Um, and it smells a bit um, like sweet apple-y. So that's what made me think of autumn. Sorry about the dogs coming in and out. I did close the door, but somehow it's open again. I swear they have like fingers or something. But to me, yeah, it says on the bottom it's pomegranate. But it smells quite sweet apple-y, so I feel like this is going to be nice to burn in autumn. Um, like I said, I do want to get a bunch more, like, pumpkin sorts of candles for the autumn time. But these will do me for now, and to be honest, I want loads of candles around my house that I can burn. Um, so the more candles, the better, right? Um, so, yeah, that's a candle that I got. And the last thing that I got is this pillow. And this pillow is absolutely incredible. It was £19.99, so £20. Um, TK Maxx has such nice homeware, like, honestly. And this is kind of, like, the theme of my living room that I'm going for. I don't know what my sofa is going to be like yet, but all I know is I want a fabric, bright color sofa. I'm kind of thinking I want to go for like a teal green or blue, but we're yet to find that. Who knows what I'm going to go for, but I want lots of bright cushions um, in my living room. So I found this and obviously this isn't really autumnal, but this goes with the whole nature, tropical, woodland theme of to my house. More on the tropical side. <laughs> so I got this cushion and I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, this would even look good in my bedroom actually. So I'm yet to decide whether this will look good in my bedroom with my flamingo wallpaper or in my living room. I'm yet to decide. Sorry about my guinea pigs. I, they're, they're like coughing because they're eating so fast. Like I swear. Um, and it's this beautiful velvet feeling. It's the biggest, squishiest pillow, like, ever. It's so nice, and it's, oh, like, I absolutely love it. Probably not to everybody's taste, but to me, this is, like, this is, like, life. <laughs> Even my boyfriend was like, that's amazing, you have to buy it. So you've got these two, like, leopards on it. Leopards? I never know the difference between leopards and cheetahs. I think they're leopards. Um really colorful tropical loads of different colors it's amazing and the back is just a blue velvet color this is kind of the color i'm aiming for my sofa hopefully but um yeah it's freaking huge it's so soft and so squishy it's one of those pillows that like when you squish it like it bounces back so really nice quality i don't know if it says the brand um oh created at the uh, Couturi, Couturiers, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, crafted by skilled Indian artisan, artis, artisans, artisans, I don't think I'm reading this right, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's beautiful, such a nice pillow, and like, I love it, I love it, obviously, like I said, very different to the autumn -y stuff that I got, but, um, I had to. It's a beautiful cushion. I couldn't not. So that is everything, you guys, for my autumn, fall, homeware haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed filming this. It's nice to be back in front of the camera filming a haul video for you guys. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. And slightly different for me. Like I said, I don't think I've ever really done a homeware haul. So expect a lot more of those. Um in the next coming months for sure um yeah so i hope you guys like this and i hope you guys are excited for more content like this if i get any more awesome autumny homeware bits or anything i will definitely sit down and do a haul for you guys so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what your favorite thing that i got was in the comments down below also if you guys have any place recommendations that you can order online in the uk or places to go for amazing homeware do let me know in the comments down below because i'm always down for finding new places to find new homeware items um yeah i'm super excited so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did um, there'll be links down below to previous videos, my social networking sites. Um, like I said, follow me on my Twitch down below, on my Instagram. They're the platforms I'm most active on lately. Um, so if you like me, you like my content, and you want to support me, follow me and see what I'm doing, please check that out down below. Um, but yeah, it's been fun being back. Do expect more YouTube videos. I promise I won't leave it as long this time before I film my next one. And if you guys have any video requests or ideas for me, please leave them in the comments down below as well. Um, but yeah, I've missed you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. 
um feel free to leave a comment down below um i'm always up for chatting to you guys um but yeah this was fun take care you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye